conventional bombs, napalm, or nuclear weapons. Its powerful engines and unique aerodynamic design make the airplane very fast and maneuverable. It is stable at all speeds, and control characteristics are excellent. Even when the Phantom is fully loaded with weapons for long-range attack, it still retains its own protective missiles and can act as an interceptor. The Phantom has great range and endurance. It carries 2,000 gallons of fuel internally and an additional 1,300 gallons when equipped with three external tanks or extended range missions. The Phantom has flown from the east coast of the United States to Germany, approximately 4,300 miles, with two in-flight refuelings. The Navy Phantom uses a probe and drogue system. The long range of this aircraft, operating without in-flight refueling from carriers or friendly land bases, means that Phantoms can carry multi-ton loads of conventional or nuclear weapons over 92% of the Earth's surface. As interceptors, the combat range of the Phantoms extends over 96% of the Earth's surface. Ferry range, with reserves, is well over 2,000 miles. The Phantom is equipped with one of the most powerful airborne radar units ever developed. This radar can detect and automatically track targets at long range under all weather conditions, day or night. The aircraft's air-to-air -air armament consists of radar-guided Sparrow 3s and infrared heat-seeking Sidewinder missiles. These enable the Phantom to intercept enemy targets 900 miles from its base and return. The aircraft can be equipped with dual controls and still retain full radar capability. Pilot transition can be accomplished without additional trainer aircraft or sacrificing the mission readiness of the airplane. Just how has the Phantom proved and demonstrated its outstanding utility potential? First, of course, by extensive laboratory tests. Then by over 6,000 hours of flight testing by McDonnell, Navy, Marine, and Air Force pilots. Phantoms have been flown many thousands of hours under widely varied test and operational conditions. The Phantom, however, proved itself as to range, speed, endurance, and reliability in another and more spectacular manner. It captured five world speed records, two altitude records, and eight time to climb records. All record flights were made by Navy and Marine pilots from operational squadrons. Briefly, the speed and altitude records were 16 kilometer course, 1,606 miles per hour, three kilometer low altitude course, 902 miles per hour. One hundred kilometer closed course, one thousand three hundred ninety miles per hour. Five hundred kilometer closed course, one thousand two hundred sixteen miles per hour. Sustained altitude in level flight, sixty six thousand four hundred forty three feet. High altitude record. 98,557 feet. Eight time to climb records demonstrated the outstanding reaction capability of the Phantom. From a standing start, the aircraft established the following time to climb records.
United States Navy put the Phantom through extensive tests. The airplane, with its extraordinary range of speeds, supersonic speeds well over Mach 2, and slow flight down to about 118 knots, is ideally suited for carrier operations. It does not have the usual compromise in performance imposed on aircraft designed for carrier operations. McDonnell and the Navy eliminated performance compromise by employing technological advances achieved in recent years in the design of aircraft, jet engines, new materials, and improved catapult and arresting gear designs. The Phantom proved it can fly at high speeds at all operational altitudes, qualifying it for the roles of close support and interception. The Marines liked the Phantom because of its low altitude attack and re-attack capability. This was demonstrated during the three kilometer speed dash when the Phantom averaged over 900 miles an hour at altitudes as low as 50 feet and not higher than 125 feet. The United States Air Force soon recognized the potential of the Phantom. Confronted with the need to bolster its limited war capability, the Air Force needed a very versatile aircraft to meet its global commitments. The Phantom was the answer. The mission of a tactical fighter is very exacting. Along with flying the airplane, the aircrew fires rockets and missiles, acts as bombardiers, navigators, radio operators, and performs numerous other tasks. The tactical fighter must be an all-weather interceptor, a dive bomber, and low-altitude attack aircraft. Although the reputation of the Phantom was well established, the Tactical Air Command of the Air Force nevertheless put the aircraft through its paces. The major objective of these tests was to determine the Phantom's capabilities within the complete spectrum of nuclear and conventional weapons in the Tactical Air Command's inventory. They found the Phantom fully qualified for every classic Tactical Air Command mission. Both live and inert warheads were used in rockets during the evaluation. Low-level weapon delivery techniques were demonstrated at very low altitude at both slow and high speeds with a composite load of weapons, including napalm, rockets, and demolition bombs. Versatility of the Phantom was thoroughly demonstrated. Several aircraft were used, each carrying many combinations of bombs, rockets, and napalm. The tests proved the composite strike capability of the Phantom. The Phantom can carry about eight tons of payload, including conventional or nuclear bombs, rockets, fuel tanks, and mines beneath the wings and fuselage. The capability to carry mobile-type weapons is essential in performing the close air support role, that of seeking out and destroying various types of mobile and immobile targets. This versatility gives the Air Force the ability to respond with a single weapon system to any type of emergency requiring tactical aircraft. In the design of the Phantom, every effort was made to ensure that maintenance would be simple and the success of this effort has been proven in actual service. The Phantom can be maintained with less difficulty than any competitive weapon system. Ground handling of the Phantom and weapons loading procedure were a very important part of the compatibility evaluation. Much experience was gained by Air Force personnel in operation, maintenance, and other vital phases of the program. The results of the evaluation program of the Phantom were evidenced by the swift decision to add Phantoms to the Tactical Air Command inventory. The Phantom demonstrated its ability to operate from supercarriers and World War II-type carriers. 
It has been operational with the United States Navy for nearly two years. Fast and versatile, the Phantom gives the free world formidable striking power. This McDonnell-built weapon system helps to ensure the protection of peace and the defense of free nations.